New York Fashion Week, held in February and September of each year, is a semi-annual series of events when international fashion collections are shown to buyers, the press, and the general public. It is one of four major fashion weeks in the world, collectively known as the Big Four, along with those in Paris, London, and Milan. The Council of Fashion Designers of America created the modern notion of a centralized New York Fashion Week in 1993, although cities like London were already using their city's name in conjunction with the words Fashion Week in the 1980s. Knife was based on a much older series of events called Press Week, founded in 1943. A centralized calendar of citywide events is kept by the CFDA, and was acquired from calendar founder Ruth Finley. The economic impact of New York Fashion Week is estimated at $887 million. The first New York Fashion Week was created in 1943 by Eleanor Lambert, press director of the American fashion industry's first promotional organization, the New York Dress Institute. The event, the world's first organized fashion week, was called Press Week, and was created to attract attention away from French fashion during World War II, when fashion industry insiders were unable to travel to Paris to see French fashion shows. It was also meant to showcase American designers for fashion journalists, who had neglected U.S. fashion innovations. Press Week was a success, and fashion magazines like Vogue, which were normally filled with French designs, increasingly featured American fashion. By the mid-1950s, the event was known as Press Week of New York. Spring 1951 was the 16th annual Press Week of New York. In 1993, the CFDA, led by President Stan Herman and Executive Director Fern Mollies, consolidated the citywide events known as New York Fashion Week by staging them in a cluster of white tents in Bryant Park. The event was branded with the trademark 7th on 6th. The primary location for New York Fashion Week is Spring Studios at 50 Varick Street. Locations have included a waterfront carnival, converted railway terminals and a former post office. Outside entrance, 2009 in February 2014, Dr. Danielle Shipuk became the first wheelchair-using model to appear in a show for New York Fashion Week. She modeled for designer Carrie Hammer. In September 2014, Karen Crespo became the first quadruple amputee to walk at New York Fashion Week, also for Carrie Hammer. On December 12, 2014, a New York state court approved a settlement in a lawsuit by community activists over whether allowing the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week tents in Domroche Park was a violation of the public trust doctrine. In accordance with the settlement, the City of New York, the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, and Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts agreed not to renew their contract with IMG. As a result, the February 2015 Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week was the last one staged in Domroche Park. In 2014, New York State passed legislation designating models under the age of 18 as child performers, restricting the hours they can perform and requiring additional documentation. Actress Jamie Brewer became the first woman with Down syndrome to walk the red carpet at New York Fashion Week, which she did for designer Carrie Hammer. In December 2015, the CFDA announced that it had hired the Boston Consulting Group to study revising the format of New York Fashion Week to adapt to changes brought about by social media. One option being explored is to bifurcate the event, with private showroom appointments of next season's designs for buyers and public fashion shows displaying in-season merchandise for consumers. The first New York Fashion Week dedicated menswear shows, called New York Fashion Week, Men's, were produced. The season ended with a number of designers either experimenting with, or planning to adopt, a see-now, buy-now model, with items available from the runway immediately after the show, rather than six months later. The charge was led by brands such as Burberry, although experiments in the format can be traced back to earlier shows by designers such as Diane von Forstenberg. Admission to shows at New York Fashion Week is typically in the form of accreditation, with specific events by invitation only. Most of the time being other designers, celebrities, and social media influencers. In spite of CFDA's claim to run the official New York Fashion Week calendar, and is further purported by publications such as Women's Wear Daily. It has been pointed out in publications such as the fashion law that CFDA has little, in any, legal rights in the knife name. Therefore, trademark rights remain unclear, at best. In 2013 Fashion Week Inc. Founded by business executive Trisha Paravas, registered the trademarks New York Fashion Week, Knife One Knife for the runway shows to use in conjunction with the production of its consumer-based fashion shows after realizing the current slate of New York fashion shows were invitation-only and designed for industry professionals and media. 
Trisha Paravas launched by yearly shows in December 2013 and initially called them New York Fashion Shows. After her first few shows drew increasing interest, she decided to rebrand it. At the time, Paravas claimed there was no trademark filed for New York Fashion Week, and filed for New York Fashion Week trademark, along with the abbreviation NIFL. The Council of Fashion Designers of America Inc. lacked registrations for the New York Fashion Week trademarks, and tried to cancel Fashion Week Incorporated's registrations. Nonetheless, the CFDA was unsuccessful in its effort to have Fashion Week Incorporated. Is New York Fashion Week trademark cancelled? On June 28, 2016 Fashion Week Incorporated and its CEO Trisha Paravas filed a lawsuit for $10 million against CFDA and WMEIMG for trademark counterfeiting, trademark infringement, false designation of origin, dilution, and unfair competition. On August 12, 2016, the court denied Paravas and Fashion Week Incorporated. His motion for a preliminary injunction. Judge Coatla held that although Fashion Week Incorporated does have rights in the New York Fashion Week trademark, those rights are limited to online entertainment ticket agency sales. On the other hand, the court held that the CFDA and WMEIMG enjoy rights in the mark for the broad ambit of organizing and producing fashion shows. Thanks for watching.